Hey guys, this is Mikko and I'm here to change the way that you do digital painting basically forever. This is the most useful tip that I can think of and I'm gonna get into it right away. I wanna make this as fast as possible. So here we have a painting. I'm sure you have seen many tutorials on how you can check your values using Procreate, but this tip applies to all painting apps that you are using on iPad. It doesn't matter if you're not using Procreate, this will still be useful. So I wanna see what this painting looks like in black and white. So I'm gonna go here, one, two, three, black and white, done. And how you can do this, let's go back into color. One, two, three, and here we have it in color. Now we have already checked the values and we didn't have to make any complex layers or mess with layer styles. It has all happened within seconds. So how you can do this is you go into settings. From settings, we go into accessibility. It's here and then look for display and text size. We're gonna click this and then down here we'll see color filters. Open that and then just switch it on. And from these options, set the color filter to be grayscale. And now we're gonna go back to accessibility and then go back into accessibility shortcut. And here you can set that to be the color filters option. And that is the triple tap of the power button. And it is this, one, two, three. Now we have the colors back on. So what I personally like to do, because I found this pretty hard muscle reflex to learn, I went into the top button and here you can adjust the speed, how quickly you need to press that button to take advantage of this shortcut. And I have set it to slow. You can set it to slowest, but I think that the default is quite fast. And there we have it instant black and white colors without doing any editing or adding any layers to your painting. And remember, this will increase the resolutions that you can use because you don't need an extra layer to check your values. Now, the reason why you don't see me using this in my videos, I have written that reason in the description box below because I want to keep this video as short as possible. That reason has nothing to do with why you can't improve your own painting skills using this tool, because it's super handy. And if I wasn't making YouTube videos, I 100% would use this all the time. But I do use this feature a lot, but I just use it on my phone. And that is for another reason. I use it on my phone to make my phone less addictive at times when I don't need to use it or I don't want to be distracted by my phone. For example, when I'm going to sleep, I turn my colors off from my phone with the power button really quickly and that makes the whole phone screen and all the applications much less addictive for my brain. And this also works when I, for example, have a working session and I don't want to be distracted by my phone, so I turn off the colors and that makes my whole phone much less appealing to pick up and check because somehow the colors make it a much more appealing option. So that is also one application you can use this information and I hope that you have learned something here and I honestly recommend using this instead of layers because it's just quicker and I hope that this makes you check your values more often. By the way, if you want to see the painting process of this video, it is on Procreate's own channel and I will link that in the description below as well. Have a great day, I'm Mikko, this is a channel about painting and creativity and I will be back with more videos soon. Bye!